So a few months ago, we took a look at the very first trade bots in Rocket League. It was a fun video to make, the trade bots were a new and convenient way to trade, and ultimately it was a really impressive implementation of something we haven't seen before in Rocket League. Today however, we're going to be taking a look at another cool implementation of something new to the scene. So we're just going to quickly start by taking a look at my inventory on one of my alternative accounts. There's nothing too impressive here. We've got five keys, we've got a certified Fennec, we've got a Distro, there's a lot of paint finishes, a lot of crates, and some other smaller items in there as well. Now let's switch over to the website I'm gonna be showing off today, and that is rliv.me, and rliv stands for Rocket League Inventory Viewer. Now I've already logged into the site, and I'm gonna show you the whole process later in the video, but let me just click Sync Inventory here, and there you go, all my items are now showing up on this website. Now before I continue and show off some of the cool features of the website, this unfortunately only works for Steam, similar to the trade bots. However, I think it's a fantastic addition to Rocket League, so I wouldn't be surprised if they decide to implement something like this for themselves, or perhaps they'll work with the developer of this website to get it working on console. But let us head back to RLIV and show off some of the cool features. The first one we're gonna be taking a look at is the Share Inventory button. By clicking on that, we get a link that we can send to either our friends or other traders. And with that link, they're gonna open up to this website once again. However, they're gonna be able to view your inventory without them having to sign in themselves. Now, this is a great feature, especially for traders. I'm sure you've run into a scenario where you're trying to trade for an item. The guy is maybe asking for offers and you're spending 10, 15 plus minutes just trying to settle on a deal, but he's just declining all your offers. All you have to do is send them this link and it's gonna help immensely with your trades and make things a lot more convenient. Another awesome implementation is that this website is synced up with rlinsider.gg, which is one of the most popular price sheets in Rocket League. Now because of that, it shows you a general outline of your inventory value, and you can also click on individual items to see what their price stats on RL Insider. Another great feature is some additional ways to sort or filter out your inventory. For example, on this website, we can either sort our inventory by name, or we can sort our inventory by price. Taking a look at the filters, we can also show what items we have multiple of. That can be very useful for traders or collectors to get rid of your extra items. And here you can also sort by tradable or untradable items. And that tradable filter is also going to be really useful for traders. The final great feature I want to take a look at is going to be that load inventory button. Now clicking that on your main computer isn't really going to do anything. However, if you decide to log in through your phone or from another computer, you click that load inventory button and it's gonna show you the inventory that's on your main Steam account. So this is a fantastic addition to remotely view your inventory. If you're bored at school or work and you wanna set up some trades or just view your inventory, well that load inventory button's really gonna come in handy. Now the first thing you're gonna to have to do to set this website up for yourself is to sign in through Steam. Whenever signing into a website, you have to be very wary of the phishing scam. I did an entire video on this scam technique and I also covered it in the TradeBot video. So I think if you don't know what the phishing scam is, I highly suggest you check out those videos. And the comment section also has some helpful information that you can check out. Now the second thing you're gonna have to do is download Backy's mod. Now Backy's mod alongside Alpha Console are probably the two most popular pieces of software in the Rocket League scene. I've used Backy's mod for maybe over a year and it's really helpful with my Fashion Fridays to change the look of items on my car. And I also use the dolly cam feature to create some custom camera angles and camera shots. So now you've signed in through Steam, you've got Backy's mod installed and running, and then you've got to launch Rocket League. After that, you've just got one final step, you're gonna head back to rliv.me, you're gonna click on that sync inventory button, and all your items should be loaded. So with that out of the way, that is gonna be a wrap on today's video. If you're on Steam and you wanna check out the website, you'll find all the useful links in the description. Check it out and let me know in the comments what you think about RLIV. But as always my friends, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.